And coming up, we have a synchronized match. Why do I miss- why do I always have these synchronized matches coming on while I'm commentating? I can't even earn free money. How sad. Why not pause commentary for a bit and bet? Well, that means there's literally nobody going to commentate though, since I'm the only commentator right now. And there's also no PR chase. I could turn it on, I suppose, so I guess that's not even that's not even out of the question. Even though this is synchronized, there's no big bets so far. Perhaps the heavy bets are just waiting for, for to figure out which team has more money or not. I know that's what I do at least. Twenty seconds in now, just to get your bets in. So be ready. So although this is synchronized match, there's only going to be a 1k top bet. How interesting. I don't care to- I- it's a bit of a regretful thing, but if I was playing this battle, I'd try to just bet a lot of money and take that free payout. Why not? Anyway, this will be um, Arcanine versus Makahita turn 1. Notably, this Arcanine is Flashfire and, and not the Intimidating variant, so they will- the Makahita won't be crippled in its attacks right off the bat. Fake Out will flinch, out, uh, flinch Arcanine, of course, and also Toxic Orb will activate and Guts will begin. And it will, will, will activate to- Toxic Orb will, be, will activate Guts, I should say, sorry. Meanwhile, Solar Beam is going to be used for Blue Team, whilst Cross Chop misses for Red. It's interesting because Solar Beam was probably a bad move by Blue by Fun. It's it was probably a bad move for Blue Team, but they got lucky with getting Cross Chop missing, so that means that they will get that Solar Beam off and it won't quite be KO'd by this Flux Cross Chop, but Marker Heater is at very low HP now and will most likely die to either the next turn or the turn after. Solar Beam is going to be used again thanks to Red Team all being on move B. So that results in Cross Chop hitting and Arcanine finally fading. Makahita has one more turn left to survive this Toxic Orb. This Toxic Orb induced poison. Now Red Team are actually moving, this, moving to move D it seems. They want to activate Memento. Interesting choice. Oh, actually no, It'll just, they'll just use Bullet Punch it instead. Um, and Memento will be used. So, notably Memento isn't going to make any difference at all because Makahira is going to end up fainting right after this turn, thanks to Toxic, thanks to Tox the um, Poisoning. And that'll just be... Um, that'll be Quilava coming on a red team against Meesprit. Me 
I believe that in this case, the best thing for Red to, to do is just try to use move A. Because it's not like it's not like any of the other moves they have are going to do any effect, any effect to it. So although it allows these to use Zen headbutt, they really don't exactly have other choices. Unless uh, they don't have other choice unless they want to stall this battle out for a ridiculously long amount of time. This game is essentially over as well because Quilava and Poliwhirl should both outspeed and be able to KO this Mii Spread. Zen Headbutt missed first turn and then will finally get a hit in on this Quilava. It doesn't do, it does about 3 KO damage, not too bad, but nowhere near enough for Blue to have a chance in this match. And so Red will eventually manage to prevail thanks to forcing Blue to pick some optimal moves. It has Levitate, doesn't it? Yes, that's why Mud Slap was not going to do anything. Not only that, but it will take a natural gift. It will take a ground type natural gift for using Mud Slap as well, most likely. The natural gift would only work for one turn, so if Red Team wanted to, and assuming that Mistrit didn't have Levitate, they could have spanned Mud Slap and been cancerous. That is not going to happen. Instead, the red team did a smart move by just using Flamethrower. The smart and non-cancerous route. So thanks, red team. It's right here, right? I think that's how you corrected my pronunciation. And yeah, you can join me if you want. I don't I've been solo commentating for this last 40 minutes or so. If you have to go soon, then you should probably try to then you should probably commentate while you still can. Twenty minutes is still enough time to commentate. <laughs> 